It's an important and historic town where many colonial traces were. Your life now. From home, club houses, cricket pitches, Anglican churches with towers and bells, and this school or college that could have been plucked from the banks of England's River Thames. Founded in 1905 and modelled on Eton College in England, the Malay College is an exclusively Malay all boys boarding school. Principal Mr. Anand. Good morning, Mr. Portillo. Welcome to the Malay College. What a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Anand Baharadin has been headmaster for 10 years. Tell me about the origins. Cool. On what sort of principles was it founded? Who was intended to be educated here? It was modeled on the British education then. The first few headmasters were British until 1965. So 65 onwards until today. Um, lay masters. What were the boys being educated for? Way back then, in, in the late 19th century, education was just to create young men to become better fishermen or better tin miners. The Sultans have in mind that the Malay boys, the local boys and women should be trained to be the administrators of the country one day. I assume it was a, a fee-paying school if it was based on the British model. No, it's not fee-paying. And even until today, this is a fully, sponsored, a fully funded government school. So when the school was founded, I suppose the British had ambitions. They wanted able administrators. I suppose the Malays had ambitions. They wanted to be admitted to the administration. Was it successful for both parties? I would like to believe so, because uh, later on, uh, when we strive for our independence, a uh, majority of the team that went on to England to negotiate with the British uh, was ex-students of the school. And of, of this very school? Yes. Now that is very, very interesting. Today, there are 634 students at the college. My pleasure. How do you do? And I'm meeting some of the school's prefects. Um, Gentlemen, you're uh, at a school which began in the British colonial era. Is, is, is that a history that you're interested in or is it one that you want to reject? In my opinion, it's a history that we should celebrate. Not a lot of schools were established during that period. And having the tradition being carried on from that period until today is something that I value from this school. What are you hoping to get out of your education at the Malay College? Um, in my opinion, this school actually trains students to become leaders of the nation. Even if we're not good as a leader, we can contribute to other fields as well, maybe in academics, maybe in our sciences as well. We have an uh, orchestra to bring out the arts in the students. We have a lot of other uh, fields that we could let the students uh, shine out. Gentlemen, what an enormous privilege to meet you all. Thank you very much, Mike. I look forward to reading about you in future and watching your exploits on television. It's not all work and no play here. I've been invited to participate in one of the college's signature sports, a game of Eton Fives. Thank you. Quite an intimidating home crowd. My good. My good. My good. My good. Eton Fives is a doubles game invented at Eton College in the 19th century on a three-sided court that the boys improvised alongside the walls of the school. I feel sure that Eton boys would struggle to match the raucous enthusiasm of this crowd. Against a buttress modelled on the chapel of Eton College. I, a grammar school boy, have at last played Eton Fives, and I had to come all the way to Malaysia to do it. Thank you so much, Anand. Thank you, my girl.
Next time in Malaysia, I'll tap into rubber's natural source. So with that incision, it's made the milk begin to flow quite rapidly. Find a British haven in the hills. The housing styles, I mean, this, this could be Surrey in England. They built the architecture that made them feel at home. And come face to face with an epic beast. And you know exactly anything like this. Do you ever watch Love Island and think, that isn't an island, it's not love? Well, Frankie Boyle's Tour of Scotland is a show that actually delivers on its title. It's me, Frankie Boyle. Oops. All right, we're starting, I'll play another one. Uh, where is my call? Uh, <laughs> starting probably at three, five minutes. Uh, knowing my cops, they will be uh, slightly late. Uh, so we've got uh, nine people watching. My job uh, is to make uh, college easier because students have a lot on them. Oh, sorry, coach. You know, you're 13, not even 13 years old. Blur, sikit. Blur banyak, actually. But you can, you can sense the history. You can sense the expectations. You can sense the, the emphasis on leadership. And therefore, you put all that together, you know, as we were kind of discussing earlier, if there is one word that rec that represents what is the ethos of a Malay college boy or old boy, I think it's one of service, khidmat. As our college anthem kata, khidmat kuberikan. The other students are giggling eh? how the prefect was bullied by Mehrotra. But, but we became to you know, love him as a great teacher and he was there right through my years. Even when I was in, uh, in prison, uh, he would stay in, in the hospital, uh, in the uh, hospital, in the compound when I was being treated for my back injury and he would shout to the guards, the prison guards and the police, justice can be delayed but never denied. So they were stunned why this old Indian man took such a passion and um, courage to express these things. But that's a spectacular Malay college uh, tradition. Kita banyak pagar, we walk to the station, the station, and our late supper, and suddenly, yeah, Super shouted, eh, Karim datang, Karim datang, kan? So we just ran. So we call it Larian Merdeka. Remember as, as the... <laughs> of course, as the champion, uh, collabnya cross-country cross champion, I was the first to, to arrive lah dekat... <laughs> dekat baby. Apparently, the the keepers of the records of my badge uh, highlighted that I think my <laughs> detention <laughs> class count was pretty uh, high. Apparently, second highest to a guy called yeah. Nyamok. Uh, our our drummer who incidentally went on to do son to to work with problem kids you know so figure that out it is a, a match uh, uh, between the malay college and star played at the star ground i was playing uh, left wing so the, normally i'm the the last person and the the sprint for the corner flag lah uh. And uh, this is the, the dying moments of the game. Yeah? And the ball came to me, I ran to the line and touched the ball across the line. But it turned out it was the wrong line. That's why, that's why it is uh, something that haunted me. And I was getting into this fight. How could a boy get into a fight, you know? So I wrote a letter to the headmaster. This was Saturday. I said, honor demands that I take on these boys. But as a boy, of course, it's not on. So I'm resigning now. Put my badge in the envelope, push it under his, uh, his uh, door. Hey, Chia, ni? Hey, Chia, nak jumpa? Seven, eight, Chia, what's wrong? He didn't even look at me. Ah, any one but they, you know? Oh, well, very strict man. He didn't even look at me. He just pointed to a head boy's badge at the edge of his table. Hanif, pick it up, he said. So I pick it up. Count again. No word said. No question asked. 
What happened? What did you do? You know, nothing. I was a boy again. I played in the under 18 team uh, in 1985, uh, which won uh, the last under 18 Perak Championship for MCKK. I don't think MCKK ever won a Perak Championship again after that. <laughs> we wanted to express our relief after a long month of examination as again. Um, and we climbed up the rooftop of the big school uh, and you know did whatever we shouldn't be doing. We first started Katsana, the first two years of Katsana, we are based in Makoba, getting really cheap rent. I owe uh, a lot of our growth to um, to Makob members. For example, we have uh, Nick Aziz, Kayok, Mafaltel. Uh, he helped us to come up with a cheap connectivity uh, SIM cards to uh, to integrate with our customers' cars and so on. And um, I also owe to Saudara Ali Karim uh, of JUBM. He gave us um, um, an initial startup fund when we uh, were uh, almost bankrupt. I think in 2014, <laughs> two years after running. So that helped us a lot and we managed to pay him back. And then myself, Anafia and Raslan talked together whether we should set up a Malay firm. This is on the prom of Tun Razam. Talk to us and say, no, there are no Bumiputra or local accounting firm in the country. That was 1959. I said, why don't you three set up a firm? So Hanafia, Raslan and me, we set up this firm. He said, if you fail, I'll pick you up again and put you back where you were. Second year, he gave us big clients like Felda, to be our auditor, Rida, National Electricity Board, LLN at that time, big company. So from there, we said, thank you, Tun. We don't have to come back. The oil price really crashed. It was it was as high as 130 back in 2012, 2013. And then when I assumed this position, it came as low as 26. So, you know, we really had a, a different environment to operate in. And we really had to have a paradigm shift on how this business will have to be run. I think that was the most challenging period in this current role. Uh, when we are in MCKK, there are certain standards that everyone has to live up to. And that is why uh, uh, in everything we do, especially in our career, we want to do better things, want to do great things. And that is something, the value that MCKK has, to, has instilled in us to make sure that wherever industry that you are in, you have to add value and make sure that the, the, the industry is better when you, are, when you left. And my passion towards service to others is another thing that, that really uh, something that has, uh, MCKK has, has told me uh, to, to do. I want to make a bias that I looked up on if you and you asked. How is he one is Tun Hanif? He took on a, a very critical role at a very young age. Yeah? So to be able to do that, is something, no? something to to be proud of, yeah. And then to remain as a statesman in a way, yeah. Uh, till this day, is incredible. In the past, Makoba is known for its very strong um, affiliation to the politics of Malaysia. Uh, but now, uh, to be impactful, um, I think there need to be a strong representation of Makops that is um, successful that are able to train the next generation of Makops. We need to continue to be relevant um, and I think what I mentioned about technology, adaptive technology, but we need to also look at uh, how we can play a bigger role in the society. Which ties back to what the, the, the collect anthem is all about. Uh, keluar membimbing negara it, there's a lot of there's a lot of things in, in, in that lyric. There's a there's a lot of meanings that people should understand from that lyrics. 
uh, is actually, it's almost an amanah actually. Wish for Malaysia is for Malaysia to progress, but the Malays must progress together with Malaysia. Uh, and and the only way to do that, I think, is like I said, is to leave our superiority and priority complexes behind, work as hard as everybody else, you know, do as well as everybody else, as anybody else. Um, don't take anything for granted. Yeah? Don't say, don't keep saying, um, you know, uh, this is my entitlement because I'm Malay. Yeah. Um, Make people respect you because you've done well and you and you deserve to be respected. Yeah, and people will. Yeah, uh, see, uh, the whole ecosystem of Malaysian sports, not only in KBS but on, but also at the school level, tertiary level, and the high performance uh, uh, level, um, locked together. I mean, it should be like a streamline of. Of, of system, development system that uh, will contribute uh, and also unearth new talents for Malaysia. I would dream that uh, I can be of help to maintain uh, uh, a dignified country like Malaysia where we achieve uh, success in our, 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 our endeavor. Uh, because there, there, there's so many fronts, uh, you know, in, in terms of the economics, in terms of uh, well for us, in terms of our resources, in terms of the talents that we have in the nation. Uh, it's, it's only for us to realize this potential in, in, in very orderly and so that we can realize the maximum value. We are in competition with other countries for FDI, for example. Um, we are in competition with other uh, countries for resources. We're in competition for lots of things. So my wish is that we that we reflect on what made us successful over the last 62 years and think about that for the next 62. And really the battle is, is outside, not within us. So we've got to figure out a way of being able to compete better. Um, in all the work that we do now, I do now, what drives me to do this work is really uh, being able to play a role, no matter how small it may be, in nation building. And that's always been um, the bit that drive many of our people here uh, in this organization and the many macaques here, actually. <laughs> hey, Malaysia Baru. But I actually prefer Baru Malaysia. Malaysia Baru could mean, I don't, I'm not saying it would mean, I'm saying it could mean something completely new. Malaysia Baru, eh? that means apa benda canvas ni semua tukar. Macam macam. Eh? It could well be for the better, or it could be for the worse. Actually, it could be very risky. Actually, maybe change is good. But I prefer Baru Malaysia. I feel like Baru betul. We kind of lost our way. As pepatah Melayu kata, kalau you sesat, you baliklah kat pangkai jalan. Cari ya, mana pangkai jalan. So to me, baru Malaysia with an exclamation mark is what I would strive for in the belief that the original Malaysia was not that much wrong. My family now grow up in the atmosphere not like when I grew up. There was no racial discrimination. There was no religious discrimination. People are quite open then. Now this is what I wish we come back to. I wish we go back to where everybody get together without any discrimination on racial basis or on religious basis and become just truly Malaysian. Okay, guys, uh, that's basically the Markoba Inspires. I think it's pretty much relevant to uh, our topic of discussion today. But I think before we proceed, uh, there are people waiting there, about 31 of us uh, outside and also uh, inside this uh, so-called StreamYard virtual studio. Uh, okay, uh, can we just uh, probably uh, all stand up? Uh, we're going to 
you know, at least during this uh, Malaysia Day, uh, the 50th, uh, 58th uh, Malaysia Day, we can all uh, nyanyikan lagu negaraku dan juga probably uh, our national anthem as well. Uh, Right. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin wa salatu wa salam ala ashrafil anbiya wa mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Okay, this is uh, terima kasih to all my panelists and my co-producers uh, for this uh, our first ever virtual Makoba Town Hall Talk eh, uh, on the topics keluar mending negara uh, Okay, before we go on, uh, I think that uh, later on Okay, salam abang here, okay, Aji Adam, okay, it's for testing All right, uh, uh, this is basically uh, our our uh, our setup, our, our, all our panelists. But uh, b before the, the uh, I hope this can be interactive. Uh, you guys can basically comment in it's either in the FB or YouTube comment. Just post your question there. But if you want to be a bit more democratic, you can type your question uh, in the slide door. I think this uh, just go to the uh, just go to Google and type slide door uh, and. They, they ask for the code, just type Makoba. MCOBA will go directly to that. So the, 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 the good things about uh, this slide is basically all your questions will be demo uh, democratically voted. So if you get more vote, your question uh, will be on top. Uh, okay. Be, uh, before we, that's that's basically it. Uh, I'll be helped today by, you know, we're going to have uh, basically press going to open and why we're doing all this thing. Then got the P and uh, DP, uh, DP and also the P president, also Vice President James. We're gonna how we're gonna supposed to go all this thing, and I'll be helped by uh, my co-moderator or moderator for today, specifically Brother Adam, and we have uh, three young panelists. Uh, with that, we he also try to blend with the question from you guys on on the YouTube or FB live watching. Uh, right, without further ado, uh, probably 
uh, I'd like to invite uh, our Yang Mulia Tunggu Dato Ahmad Burhanuddin uh, or better fondly known as uh, President Tap to give his uh, opening speech and basically why we are doing all this thing. Dipersilakan President Tap. Thank you, uh, Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Um. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for everybody who's actually uh, locked on today, and also for those who will probably be listening to this later on, viewing this on the recorded version of it as well. Uh, it is Malaysia Day, and we thought that um, what better way for us to probably honor rather than celebrate this day um, is to um, come up, come together and figure out what we can do for Malaysia. Um, as everybody knows, you know, uh, as you can feel it, as you can see everything on the on the social media and everything else, our country is in dire straits. And we acknowledge that there's indeed some efforts that we need by this government, um, there's been many governments lately, to deal with the pandemic and then tending to the economic impact. The efforts are to deal with the present and to lay the path for recovery. This is not the time to argue, but to do the best possible. However, the antics of our politicians in office provide second comfort. So this is the present situation, but we need to see beyond. I think uh, some people are on, on, on this, uh, I mean, they are, they are speakers on, maybe, uh, or they're watching. Can you go on to mute, please? So uh, we feel it's time that Makuba and Makov put our shoulders to the task, yeah? Of making sure the best strategies, plans and efforts are thought out. Comprehensively planned for and effectively implemented. We feel it's time we go to the front and advocate the best. This opportunity to rally the college spirit in all of us, the college spirit of not only doing and giving our best, but also doing the right things and doing things right and sustainable. Here, because we understand, we are all here today again, because we understand the bond that exists between us, the enormity of the task that lies ahead of us, the influence that comes with it. We understand what my college, what Malay College is all about, and we understand what being a college boy is all about too. Today, um, inshallah, we start discussing what we can do to make a difference together as brothers, as friends, as citizens of this country. Brothers, a generation ago, we could still blame our elders for the legacy they left us. But in recent years, as the country has gone from bad to worse, sliding further and further down into deeper and deeper crisis, not only caused by the pandemic that we, we are ongoing at the moment, and the ongoing economic crisis, but also the social, political, and moral crisis. We must now bear the responsibility. We may not be responsible for what the nation has slipped into, but we are definitely responsible if we don't do anything about it. We are seeing our beloved country sliding into a abyss of dysfunction as rhetoric sounds louder than rational, rational statements. Solutions are offered, nevertheless, upon counter-solutions with Little visible progress made. Excuses become louder, and much more so are the explanations. Slow pace action and the desired results of impact are far from what we expected. We are particularly concerned that while, with the grace of Allah, inshallah, Malaysia will get out of this pandemic, what will the future hold? Would it be more of the same of what we have experienced in the past, or the implementation inefficiency? the corruption, the escalating costs, and the slow economic growth, are those still to be the order of the day? While Makuba have always been apolitical, maybe it's time we change our stance a bit. As politics is the way that people living in groups make decisions, being political here is assisting the various stakeholders in making agreements between each other so that we can not only live, but prosper together in this country. I, however, must emphasize here, Makoba will nevertheless stay non-partisan, i.e. 
That is, we're not going to be, we are not biased, especially towards any particular political group. Yeah, I, I'm going to repeat that. We are not biased, especially towards any particular uh, political group. Yeah. We must acknowledge that many Makops are in various different political parties. We celebrate that fact as they are, they are there to be human. In fact, out of my batch, two are, are ministers and there are many more that are uh, Makops that are right throughout the, um, in the cabinet. Boon has one in his, from his batch in the cabinet as well. And there are also many also Makops in influential places holding positions of influence. And people respect us. And they have a high expectations of us as leaders, as the one they look up to, as the one they, they would, that would pave the way. Amongst us are ministers, as I mentioned, high-level government officials, corporate and community leaders, and they're all expected to contribute to the betterment of the country. I believe that the nasi kawah yang kita makan kat the college, kat, in the dining room in Kuala Kansa, had magical powers to somehow indoctrinate us a sense of responsibility of our country, regardless of race and religion. That responsibility falls on those of us in our 40s, 50s and 60s. Our seniors that we look up to in their 70s and 90s, they are looking at, onto us to re retrieve what they used to see and what they used to live and see lost. The younger generation in their 20s and 30s, they are the beneficiaries and they are all ready and eagerly waiting and wanting to help. So what we were here to do is we need to unite for this common cause. We also need to rally other Malaysians, maybe perhaps some other alumni to join and work with us. We've always been exemplary among school alumni, and we must continue to be so, to serve the people, to serve the nation, to bring it back to where it was, an independent, sovereign nation with dignity, pride and soul. Now is the time to step up and do more. We need to turn Makuba into something more meaningful. Let's move to go on together as the choices we make in the lives we lead determine the legacies we leave behind. We are the masters of our de own destiny and we definitely don't want our children and their children to question the state of the country that we're going to be leaving to them. Brothers, the purpose for which we went to MCKK should resonate the shared universal values ingrained into us when we were there. We live and breathe these values. We need to restore them to all the, those who matter, the people of this nation. We are proud of Malaysia. Let's be proud of Malaysia again, gentlemen. We must always, and this must always be the way for us. Makuba has turned out to be a brotherhood like no other. Makuba is built on the strength and involvement of its members who are strong and committed. Together, let's stake our association to its rightful heights, where we need and expect it to be, up where it belongs for us and for the country and for the people of Malaysia. We need to organize ourselves. This is a matter of patriotic conscience and concern for the future of the country. Let, be, let us be in a position to provide assistance, feedback, support and contribute ideas. Let us become the nation's public advocacy voice. Let's discuss the what and the how and why. As for the why, I suppose it's rather obvious. Today, in this preliminary discussion, inshallah, <laughs> let's just start this journey to push conscience the fore. Let us, like our song that we sang earlier today, let's kroa memimbing negara. Thank you, Boon. Um, and Adam, I... Let this back to you. But before I do so, I, I would like um, everybody out there, this is an a interactive um, session that we like. We like to hear your views. We like to hear your comments. We like to hear your, your suggestions as to how we can do this better, how we can make a difference for this country. Wabilai Taufiq, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much.
Boon, we can't hear you, Boon. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was muted myself. Uh, uh, thank you, President Tab, for for that very uh, you know enlightening uh, introductions of why you are doing all the things. Uh, and for those who are watching, uh, please uh, give your comments. I'll try to blend all the questions uh, as, as we go along. Uh, okay, that's basically why we are doing it, because I think there are plenty of markups out there and on this uh, virtual panel that would like to, uh, you know, provide the platform that how we as Mark Cox can play our part in helping, in voicing, uh, in, in, in guiding the, the countries to, towards uh, a, a better Malaysia. On how we are going to go about this thing, I'll be helped by, uh, by moderator Dr. Adam Saeed uh, as the moderator for this uh, talk today. Uh, and he'll uh, take uh, the, the lead from here. You persilakan, Dr. Adam. Over to you. Sorry. Oh, thank you, uh, Brother Boon. I don't know where you get the doctor from. I'm not a doctor. But I saw somewhere the title doctor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, I'll better uh, to, yeah. you know, uji lebih tak apa, jangan kurang. <laughs> okay. Uh, Selamat Hari Malaysia to everybody. Um, yeah, my name is Adam, uh, Batch 78, uh, Idris House. Uh, I'll be moderating the session today. We will be having, or uh, I will be posing some questions that might uh, answer many of the questions lingering on the head of many of the Mokobs uh, watching this session now. Uh, why suddenly Mokoba wants to pursue this uh, national advocacy uh, route? Huh? Um, a few things I would like to uh, share. Um, uh, sebagai uh, moderator, saya tak kisahlah kita pakai bahasa Melayu ke, bahasa Inggeris ke. Uh, as long as the message gets across, yeah. Uh, kalau nak pakai campurisation pun boleh, yeah? boleh in English, yeah. So, uh, please, please feel free uh, to ask any questions uh, you want uh, after this. But uh, to get things uh, going, I would like to uh, post the, the first, um, you know, uh, six or seven questions to our uh, panelists, uh, members, which include uh, our DP, uh, Datuk Zulzain, um, Abdul Mu'iz, uh, aka James, uh, and we also have uh, Nabil, uh, Iskandar, and Dr. Amir, yeah, uh, on our panel here. So I, I uh, would like to start the question uh, by posing this to the most senior in the group, uh, Dato' Zul, uh, Zuzin. Uh, brother, it seems that, you know, uh, Mokoba, um, as a body of... Um, supposedly higher intellectual levels than the average, etc. Uh, it's only natural that we undertake this function of uh, national advocacy. Um, so it, it is sort of a little bit funny for me to ask the, uh, to, for, for Tap, uh, brother, brother Tap, to say, you know, we are into this mode now. It's, it's as though that, hey, how come have we just been, have we just woken up and, and, and feel that this is what we should be doing? shouldn't we be doing this all this while, you know? Uh, so uh, maybe these are some of the questions uh, playing in the minds of a lot of uh, the Merkops out there. Uh, would you like to uh, start with that first? Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum. Uh, yes and no, in the sense, uh, if we if were to answer the question that uh, why are we not really there already or why are we just starting? Uh, well, Macops being Macops and Macoba being a, an institution for Macops, well, our own uh, being as a Macoba is basically for Malay College Kuala Kansa and for uh, Macops. So we have we've been organizing events all along the line. Uh, the consciousness now to become a, a real voice uh, comes actually from what we went through this last two years. Yeah, uh, actually it started uh, maybe uh, early this year when things really were looking, beginning to look bad when we have thousands of people getting infected every day. And we keep on hearing a lot of voices out there uh, stating their complaints. And uh, among us in, 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 in Mokoba and also among the Mokops, we were saying, why 
shouldn't we be saying anything or not? So we said, yes, we should be saying, we should be showing our concern, should we express our, our dissatisfaction, our disenchantment for all these things. But uh, is that the best way? Because we've seen others issuing statements, we've seen others uh, making, making, uh, uh, pr making recommendations, writing here and writing there. By the end of the day, it's, it's just lost in the chorus of voices. So we say if we were to begin to do, to do something, we've got to do it differently. So we said, okay, uh, let's become a voice that expresses the concern and at the same time actually express what we think needs to be done or have to be done. So we decided on uh, saying, okay, why don't we begin to write a letter? Yeah. So we crafted the letter, started off with 10 pages long, and then we cut it down to six pages, then we brought it up again to eight pages. But at the end of the day, we say that uh, through this letter, we need to express what we feel uh, on certain key issues. All those issues which people have been raising with regards to the need to deal with the pandemic, all those things are already well, well taken care of. So we say we should be raising is issues which are forgotten amidst all these kind of voices. Yeah. So we decided on, 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 uh, on writing a letter. So we crafted a letter uh, where we say we are focusing on basically the need to address the decline in our ability to actually deliver what we say we want to deliver. We put it short, we put it in a short form, we say what we have noticed over the last 10 years, we don't just look at the last one or two years, we look at the last 10 years, we say we seem to have this propensity to not realize in full whatever that we have set ourselves to do. Yeah, uh, We term it as, we call it as the propensity to fail. We seem to have this propensity to fail. So we, we, we tend to highlight this. And then we, 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 uh, we then say that, okay, who do we send it to? We decided on the, on the group of, say, politicians, or maybe the civil service, maybe people in the legal services. And uh, we are still in the midst of actually finalizing that. But while discussing that, we say, we have got a voice. We have got many voices. We have, we have seen in individual macops working in the government sector. We have seen individual macops in the government itself, in the ministries, we've seen individual cops on the other side of the of the of the of the of the parliament side, on the opposition side, and we have seen individual cops working to help the Glandangans, help here and help there. So we say, why don't we begin to make a collective voice, not trying to dis replace or displace all these voices? All these voices will go on, but we will we will supplement and complement all these voices. So now we say, okay, why don't we sit down and call on our brother Makops to say, okay, why don't we sit down and start thinking about how do we work to become the voice of the voice of the people in the sense that we voice on behalf of the people. So that's why we decided to say, okay, why don't we, we try to, to, to advocate this establishing of this uh, advocacy kind of movement within, within Mokoba itself. That's how Thank you. we are Thank where you. we are today. Thank you. Uh, if I can summarize, um, we are moving. Uh, you know, understanding what you said, we are moving from informal to a more formal, uh, unstructured yes. to a more structured uh, kind of national advocacy. Yeah, I mean, national advocacy can take many forms. I, I remember many, many years ago, a lot of Makops and non Makops like to attend our uh, dinners because our, you know, concert is like, you know, uh, it, it pricks on the conscience of the society, so to speak, you know. So, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, uh, Brother Zulzain. Uh, can I go to uh, Brother James um, uh, Abdul Muiz? Um, you know, um, in in the society that we have now, we have the ruling party, we have the opposition. Jadi, kita nak cakap pasal national advocacy, buat apa? Pasal dia orang pun dah ada dah. Dah ada. Dah ada orang yang buat kerja, dah ada orang yang nak bangkang. So uh, why do you need a third party um, and then we, uh, you know, we are only duplicating what, um, you know, what is supposed to be done by these uh, MPs, etc., who have been paid to do this, this kind of things. What do you say? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih, Brother Adam. Uh, 
uh, what you're saying is how relevant can we be lah in this context of uh, trying to be an advocate for apa, uh, issues. Okay, I I would say that um, being members of society, uh, Makoba has all the relevance necessary because we are already members of the society. So, can we voice out our concerns as a concerned individual or maybe as a concerned organization like Makoba? Kalau I would like to inform everyone, eh, even in our Makoba constitution, eh, which was approved by uh, ROS, Registrar of Societies, in 2014, the recent amended punya, pasal 3.4 uh, mengatakan bahawa mengatur dan membantu usaha-usaha ke arah meningkatkan pertamanya prestasi ahli dan seterusnya prestasi murid-murid tua MSKK dan bangsa Melayu. Dan bangsa Melayu tau, it's not just Mekoba, it's not just MCKK but bangsa Melayu. So, okay, I'm not trying to be racist kat sini tapi kita kena orang kata apa, we have to look out for our own people. Uh, it so happens to be that our own people are Malay lah kan. Okay, so, uh, we should be able, we should be, uh, we should have a platform to contribute our point of view towards nation building. Even for an example, even in our alumni circles, eh, there's, uh, there's an association called Gabungan Persatuan Alumni Sekolah Berasrama Penuh. Uh, Mekoba is part of that gabungan. And even then, we don't hold any uh, ex-co post, we don't hold any uh, appointed post, elected post yet. But even so, the leaders of that organization are always consulting Makoba first. Whenever there's a big issue to be talked about or they need some advice, uh, being part of the group, ada je soalan dia tanya kat kita. How, how, how did Makoba do it? Have Makoba experienced this issue? What, what does Makoba think about it? Kan? So I feel that um, in terms of relevance, bukan setakat kita ni uh, uh, perlu merel, apa, me, me, menjadikan diri kita relevan tapi our surrounding uh, society, our other people are making us relevant. Like it or not, we have to show ourselves to be leaders. So we cannot be leaders by keeping quiet and uh, kita tak comment on uh, sensitive issues apa semua. Probably we have to pick and choose lah apa issues that we want to be a part of. But then we have to be a platform. We have to be a voice of reason for our society and also the people in general. As just now uh, Datuk Zolzian mentioned, uh, our deputy president, Mekops are everywhere. We are in politics, we are in GLCs, we are in corporate, we are in uh, small businesses, we are in uh, society, apa, leaders, even to the extent of uh, chairman rukun tetangga ke apa. But as leaders of that particular organization, they are wearing that particular organization's hat. So they have to be a proponent of that organization's fundamentals and beliefs. But as Makoba, kalau kita semua have, basically, I'm sure all Makops have the same values. Pasal kita makan nasi kawah, macam Press tadi cakap. Kita makan nasi kawah sama. We grew up together. Kita daripada Form 1, Form 5, Upper 6, A-Levels pun ada, masuk Form 4 pun ada. Basically, we went through the same things. So, uh, we probably have lebih kurang the same uh, not to say genetic structure, tapi the same qualities, lebih kurang lah. So it's good that we can have our own platform, Mekoba, as an advocacy group to promote our own values. Uh, that is what I think this should be lah. Thank you very much, Brother Dam. Thank you, thank you. Um, so in short, uh, can, was, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. In short, whilst we have uh, different people playing different roles, but there are certain, you know, uh, when uh, and we are driven to do uh, what is right, but when you wear certain hats, 
you've got to, you know, that that hat that you wear takes precedence. There are certain things that you can't say or you can't do, you know, there are, or, I, you know, I mean, uh, these are realities. And sometimes when we talk to some uh, of our leaders of, say, Malay, uh, Malay Party leader A, we said, you know, this is the right thing to do. Why can't you say it? Well, you know, you guys uh, bring it up. Lah. I cannot say it. If I say it, mati lah. My, my followers or my members will hantam I, something like that. So I yes, think that right we, we, we need to, to be the conscience of the society. Yeah? Very good. Yep. Um, I, I'll go back to uh, Brother Zuzin. Um, Adam, we don't have Adam, enough time, so we've got to go, you know, um, you know a bit fast here. Um, you know, hmm. we, we, when Adam, we I, to... can I just uh, masuk yeah. I mean, I just uh, nak meraihkan yang sure. those uh, outside uh, of this yeah, thing, sure. other, especially Ahmad uh, Ibrahim, he's been very active uh, in the in the YouTube. <laughs> they get okay. the Mark respect and institution should take a lead in providing advocacy on the many issues that trouble the country. Okay. So, in in a certain sense, they agree. Uh, <coughs> and, and you pun rata suruh banyakkan more. You should voting for the independent. Uh, so that's basically one view. Uh. Uh, Sharon Miza ni, I think so my junior, identify the best effective vehicle. So we have to identify the vehicle, how oh, we yes. want to voice out that thing and yep. and basically you know, how, how to get the basically the traction uh, okay. and medium. Uh, so we need people more to, to come on board to help us. So basically uh, like DP, uh, Datuk Zul basically and, and President Tab, the, the JPM member can readily shoot out the, the letters macam Ali kata. Why do you need our, our, our input? So basically, we want, uh, uh, we were going to do that. We're going to send the letters. I think the letters have been prepared. We got some uh, things in mind. But it's just that uh, now this first town hall, we need uh, more participation from uh, the wider markups to be on board. And and probably macam Arida, they suka on that environment. So I, I love environment as well. I mean, I mean, we can form a small committee like Brother Adam probably into education and whatnot. So we, we need more input. I mean, a sustained effort. Uh, to, to make this thing happen. Uh, sorry, Adam. I just want to, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, over to you. No, no, no. Perfect. Perfectly fine. Yeah. Uh, I don't have time to go through while, I, while facilitating. I don't have to yeah. time to go through the comments. Appreciate that, uh, you, you know, you give the running commentaries yeah, uh, that has been coming in. Uh, uh, Brother Zul, uh, uh, yes. Dr. Zul, I would like to uh, post the next question to you. Uh, bila kita nak start this national advocacy ni, tak boleh nak ledah aja lah. There must be some decorum, yeah. there must be some, you know, uh, you know, uh, boundaries that we take care of. Mm. There must be some, you know, principles that we adhere to. I would like to hear something okay. from you lah. But I, I, I remember you one thing. I remember you started this RT thing, you know, uh, mm. uh, program for, you know, uh, for our... Um, Perfect. Uh, uh, you Perfect. know, MCK students at one time, you know. So I know you are you are very much driven in terms of values. So, so in this in this context, what what kind of values or principles should we adhere to when we go into uh, national advocacy? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Rab. Now, <clears throat> the mere idea of advocating is actually is helping people to find their voice, helping people to actually help to find their voice, so that at the end of the day they can realize whatever needs that they want to. Do realize so if you use the word help then the help must come with with certain values one is as we think that it must be sincere yeah it must be sincere sincere to the purpose that is in mind sincere not to your personal gain not to somebody's special personal gain but to the specific interest specific goal that is, that is there yeah? and we have to be honest we have to be political. Being apolitical is not taking a stance. Being political here is interpreted as you use politics to actually convince others to get to your point, point of view. So we have to be political, but we have to be non-partisan. Yeah. In the sense that we don't side any, any, any party because we side the person who asks us to, to make that voice so that their goals, their aim can, can be achieved. So sincerity honesty uh full commitment to evaluate to assess to come up if not the best solution because sometimes you may be in a situation where you will be asked to to choose between two or three different kind of options 
So we should be in a position to come up with a better option. To which of those three, which is the better option, with the view of actually uh, moving forward to how do we actually implement it. So our the kind of advocacy that, that we want to do is the advocacy where we help others, not to push ourselves. Yeah. So those those are some of the basic basic principles that, that we think that we need to have in, in in this movement that we are trying to begin within Mokova itself. Okay, very good, uh, uh, Dr. Zul. Again, if I may summarize, we've got to be political but non-partisan because uh, it yes. would be ironic if you say we are apolitical. You know, almost right. everything is connected to politics. How can you be apolitical? But we are non-partisan in the sense that you know, we are principle centered, as you mentioned just now, too. Uh, I picked up we, a few other are, words that you said, we, you know, we are, we, we, are yeah. we are partisan, we are partisan to the person we are serving. Ah, the yeah. Okay, that's right. They are needs. So, um, they are needs. so we've got to look at the, the greater good as well. So, it's yeah. the public's and the, the, the national interest that we should be taking care of. Uh, and this is what is uh, meant when you say that we need to be sincere. Eh? Uh, yeah. when we undertake this task. Um, I'm very sure that uh, in terms of our key guiding principles, uh, this is what we have been, uh, you know, uh, uh, what has been thought of at the uh, at your level uh, and the committee's level. And I'm, I'm very sure that uh, we will be um, uh, soliciting the opinion uh, of what are the principles that we should be adopting or adhering to uh, when taking this national advocacy. Um, I would like to pass again to a very quick question, James. Um, banyak sangat uh, benda yang kita nak 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 manage ni, James. Uh, you know the economy, the uh, apa, uh, people complaining about uh, you know uh, national level, uh, you know uh, the the um, the education system, uh, health, and uh, you know uh, the societies, uh, you know. Uh, uh, lack of uh, um, what is the word? Um, uh, they, they are apathetic towards um, issues that is surrounding uh, Malaysian politics, etc. So many things that we we can talk about. Then I don't want to even go into SDG sustainability because to some that sounds like very you know uh, hocus pocus and too far away from the you know from the bread and butter issue. But really. If uh, Mokoba were to take up uh, this national advocacy, we've got to have some kind of focus or starting uh, position on some starting, uh, you know, uh, issues, right? Uh, what would they be, James? Uh, okay, Brother Adam. Uh, of course, like you said lah, macam-macam issue lah Malaysia ni kan. Kita ni, uh, I wouldn't say we want to start small, tapi we start with something which I think should be very important lah, kan? Uh, I think which is affecting every facet of society, whether it's in the government, in the corporate sector, or whether it's in uh, kehidupan kita hari-harian lah. Contohnya, uh, corruption. Corruption is everywhere lah. Contohnya lah kan. We haven't decided to talk about corruption per se. But then in our letter, we are alluding towards a systemic failure in the system, which is probably caused by corruption. Okay, uh, let, let me just uh, expand on that a bit. Kan? Um, corruption ni is not is not a thing that is uh, tak, tak senang. Ia benda yang amat susah kita nak hadapi. Because everyone is involved. We need help and we need involvement from everyone. The men on the street, businesses, media, politicians, enforcement, even our own family. Kan? To the extent that uh, uh, Datuk Husamuddin Yaakob, uh, Karangcraft Group punya owner also started a movement called Rasuah Busters. Ni contoh je lah kan, tu contoh kan. Um, Rasuah Busters, he he's trying to get everyone involved because he already identified that this probably could be the the orang kata apa, the punca, punca kepada banyak masalah dekat negara kita ni, Rasuah. Just to quote, uh, pagi tadi saya baca news, uh, kita punya former MACC chief pun, Tan Sri Abu Kasim, who was the MACC chief from 2010-2016, uh, 
he uh, was uh, one of the people who was trying to set up the uh, independent police complaints and misconduct commission and also the national anti corruption plan launched in 2019 lah so what he said uh, what he said uh, very interesting uh, he was part of the group but I mean, this is what he said corruption was a tool to either gain power or topple a government and once power is obtained they will forget about the war against corruption so even he himself pun kata this problem ni dia will not go away so easily so we have to do what we can lah i'm just giving a particular example which is corruption tapi there are many other issues that we can uh, focus on but probably this could be one of the major issues that mokoba could assist uh, work together with other bodies uh, to try and uh, solve lah thank you brother adam uh, okay thank you um so this is where sometimes we are in, we are in a very awkward position we know what is right and what is wrong uh, what are the priorities and uh, this is where national yes yeah, sorry okay uh, sorry uh, uh, ada some comments yeah. tapi yeah. i just want question to you boleh kan so probably yeah, boleh, boleh. Uh, as well yeah. panel since uh, i know adam is the call it adam moti you know, man of the year and also very <laughs> islamic in certain sense uh. Because there is, uh, you can say corruption, as James was mentioning about corruption, susah nak eradicate corruption. Tapi in the Malaysian context, there is my own small group, uh, so-called yang yang terpelajar, ada PhD and whatnot, the doctors and whatnot. <laughs> they get, uh, you know, we are talking about Malaysian, Malaysia, you know, we are talking about uh, menyatukan, uh, you know, Malaysia. Tapi they get, they lebih preferkan menyatukan umah, you know. Even that Umar to sometimes they tepaut dengan corruption. <laughs> you still, uh, you know, we want to be part of that. Uh, see, it's a penya, uh, menyatu padukan uh, umat Islam is higher than, you know, about integrity or corruption. So what's your take on that? Uh, uh, that question is towards... Or, or whatever. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Pada siapa ni yang nak halakan soalan tu? Pada James Because, ke? Uh, this is... Uh, uh, you you want me to answer? Uh, oh, quick one because this is quite common. You know. There are many people say the the penyatuan uh, is even higher you know, the, the the race and religion kind of stuff. Well, you know, my my response to that is, uh, I, of course, uh, ini kita kena apa bahaskan secara uh, secara mendalam. Uh, tetapi satunya yang kita kena ingat ialah dalam uh, we've got to take uh, you know the the maslaha of the ammah keseluruhan the people the public. I should take precedent over any other sectarian, uh, you know, uh, needs. Uh, and uh, we also have got to take care of the fact that, you know, uh, if uh, one sector of the Muslim society uh, were to be the, seen to be the perpetrators of this, dia akan menimbulkan lebih banyak fitnah kepada Islam juga. So I think, so uh, if, if uh, in some cases where, you know, uh, you take the world for example the muslim countries are the worst examples of you know uh, corrupted corrupted leaders and corrupted nations so that that does doesn't bode well for for islam you know as a whole so if we don't realize that and kita masih lagi justify um, you know uh, um, corruption under the name of anything then we are, we are missing the bigger picture lah you know and i i know the issue about corruption also another issue is about you know uh, in terms of uh, if you ask the men on the street um, you know uh, bread and butter issue uh, education and corruption which one would you choose as number one would it be corruption no it will always put bread and butter issue but the point here is uh, the issue about the bread and butter now uh, the lack of economic growth etc we are behind korea when we were at, we were you know more advanced than them at one time all these things uh, you can you can relate back to for example uh, corruption so sometimes as leaders uh, as thought leaders of the society we've got to differentiate and uh, un understand what are the priorities eh? so i think right. uh, yeah. i'd like to quote what i just finished this with one quotation uh, since you asked me um, mm -hmm. uh, what um, uh, henry ford you know uh, he was asked uh, you know about uh, 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 producing cars eh? Uh, so Henry Ford kata, um, if you were to ask the uh, consumers, 
uh, what is their priority, they will say they want faster horses. Not cars, kan? Faster horses. So it is up to people like them, technologies like them, to educate and uh, you know uh, the consumers what is available or what is better for them. So I think uh, that is the my short answer. But maybe uh, Brother James want to respond. I can see that you uh, are a bit uh, eager. <laughs> uh, uh, probably you can give about five minutes uh, or two, three minutes before we go to the next uh, for the younger panelists. They are anxiously waiting you know, outside in the studio. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so about five minutes, Actually, gonna, we're going to change uh, site. Huh? I don't need five minutes, just one minute pun cukup je. Oh yeah, one minute. Uh, okay. I'll keep it very short. Actually, I just uh, stated an example lah of one of the issues that probably we could pursue initially. Uh, but of course, we will compile the feedback and also the uh, questions from this particular forum. And uh, hopefully, we can get a clearer idea of what are the important issues that uh, MACOPs in general, want us to address first. Lah. But I think if you ask me personally, lah, I think corruption is the mother of all issues lah. because it all starts from corruption. It was such a, okay, thank you. Back to the host, moderator. Okay. So I, um, um, so I, if I can take the, uh, the gist of it, uh, James, uh, yes, we, we have identified uh, at our level, uh, at your level at least, uh, what are the major issues that need to be addressed, but this will not be decided uh in isolation but we will engage uh, fellow makeups and, and make sure that you know um, you know we we get their feedback uh in terms of prioritization yeah you know, you can add, add, did, I, did i see your finger coming up yeah. yes yes please if i can add just maybe another mi one minute yeah uh <clears throat> we would like to advocate the resetting of some of the functions that we have within our government service resetting the national the delivery service yeah why have we always been keep on failing in terms of trying to deliver things so you have we have we need to reset that and as far as corruption mm -hmm. is concerned corruption is sometimes initiated by processes or procedures which are very lengthy and people are sort of incentivized to actually cut the thing short so mm -hmm. resetting some of our policies resetting some of our systems and processes are also in the way uh, uh, one of those one of those uh, uh, things that we like to advocate. Now going back to the, the to the needs of the Ummah, Perpaduan Ummah, by focusing on the right values, by fo focusing on the right qualities, by emphasizing on the right values, the Ummah mm. will come together. Naturally, will come together. Great. All right. Thank you, Brother uh, uh, Zain. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Boon. Thank you very much. All right, uh, thank you, Zulzin uh, and James. Uh, now it's, uh, we're gonna go for the second round. We're gonna invite uh, you know all the young Makops as, as panelists. The first one we got uh, Raja Ahmad Iskandar uh, Paris, I think. Raja Ahmad Iskandar, uh, how are you? Uh, I'm from good. Batch, uh, you're good, okay. Raja Ahmad yes. Iskandar uh, uh, Ahmad House, uh, I think Batch uh, Kosong Nam. I think it's the Pengarah Komunikasi at the REFSA, something like a think tank for social advancement. Uh, yeah. yeah, that is Raja Iskandar. Second one, uh, we have uh, Dr. Amir Raslan. Eh? Welcome to the show, Dr. Amir, from batch uh, 89, is my senior one year, from Idris House. Apa khabar, Dr. Terima kasih. And finally, uh, we got the youngest, uh, the youngest panelist for today's show. Uh, None other than uh, Saudara Nabil Saifuddin the, from batch uh, Kosong Sembilan. Uh, this is the only uh, Ahmad, uh, Muhammad Shah. Uh, welcome on board. Apa khabar, Nabil? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Terima kasih. Okay, kita beri uh, tepukan untuk semua panelist kita yang muda-muda ni. Uh, alright, Adam. Uh, I'll give it to you. Uh, how you want to, you know, uh, nak, nak, nak grill uh, kita punya junior. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for the claps just now. Like, okay, leave it to Buna. You will come up with all these interesting ideas of how to make the uh, session less boring. Eh? Okay, um, since we are dealing with the younger ones, uh, the long, younger group here, I would like to go straight to the youngest. Yeah, Nabil, are you ready? Yep, okay. Boleh, boleh. Okay. 
Okay. Um, you know the um, the young uh, segment of the society are always associated with you know uh, apathetic attitude towards life as a whole, mm. uh, but in particular towards politics, uh, policy, apa apa apakah lagi nak bincang pasal national level advocacy those kind of things, which might to many appear mambo jambo but i suppose uh, may may i expect a, a different response from the younger macops on this what do you think all right um, first of all thank you very much for posing this question it is a hard one right but in order to address this question um, we we take it as a modular kind of response lah, eh? so first thing first if i were to break this question i will to take it as uh, you know national advocacy and young people in general and maybe to an extent we 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 want to, to ask what do we want to do about that right what do we want to do with this uh, national advocacy right but before i answer to the questions straight away right um we have to understand the nature of these young people okay so when we talk about young people and i would say most of us wants to contribute something for the betterment of the, our country Right, memang kita tanyalah kebanyakan memang dia nak kata oh I want to do this, I want to do that, right? This is the first part. But what we always uh, neglect the fact that most of us as well, right, wants to see the result immediately. Betul tak? Orang muda ni dia kata darah panas kan? So kita tak sabar. We want to do something, we want to see the result immediately. So this is the second part. I tak kata semua, okay? Uh, but I've seen this. This is what happened in families. Uh, this is what happened in workplace. We, we've seen, we've seen this, right? And the third part is our approach uh, in this national advocacy, right? So are we talking about national advocacy, uh, you know, related to polemics only or, you know, current issues only or even at national strategic level or national strategic move? Are we, where, where are we actually in this in this national advocacy, right? Because this will have a different degree of impact as well as in terms of timeline in order for us to see the result, right? So from, you know, and to answer your questions, yang awal-awal tadi, kan? My response would be it depends on our approach uh, and the area of focus, again, it, uh, echo back to whatever Saudi James uh, mentioned just now, Datuk Zul mentioned just now, right, in this national advocacy. Tapi senang cerita, kan, ikutlah apa yang kita berkenan, kan, nama pun national, uh, national advocacy, kita ada area of interest, kita mungkin tak sentuh semua benda, right. Um, and 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 I think the key takeaway from from this part, right, is Makoba, right, and this is why we have this uh, town hall anyway, right will become the platform right to so so our brothers can come and take advantage in positive way right from the population that we have right we have all the experts we have all levels of influential people back uh, in in, in Macops, right so that we can collectively work together right to move and achieve what is our objective which is betterment of society so in which area uh, maybe you want to ask me further if uh, we, we we have time on, on that one, so I can elaborate that further. But uh, for now, that's just my response. Thank you. Thank you, brother. So I think the, the in 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 a nutshell, uh, what you're saying is, it's uh, whether they are going to be interested or not it depends on us and how we carry the message and uh, you know what kind of activities that we uh, you know involve them in, and I think um, maybe at the relevancy level whether they feel that their voices are relevant and are heard. So if we reward them for giving uh, good ideas and giving feedback, I think uh, you can only expect that uh, more good ideas will come from them. Thank you yes. very much. Yeah. Uh, and I'd like to go to the next one, uh, Raja Maiskanda, if, I, if, I if you don't mind asking you this question. Just now, Dato, uh, Deputy President talked about the importance of engaging uh, the stakeholders as well as, as being uh, inclusive in our approach um, but how do you think we could operationalize this in reality lah? 
how do we get people uh, more involved in this national level advocacy? I, I presume by that we mean that uh, our national, our brand of national level advocacy is not that we have uh, a few uh, high powered thinkers uh, coming up, crafting up ideas and pushing down the throat of others. Lah. I don't think that we are going to take that approach, lah, you know. So, but uh, but the question is, how do we engage people and make sure that they are heard? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Saudara Moderator. Uh, before I answer that question, uh, I'd like to take a step at the uh, response on the youth, uh, the, the current mood of the youth and how they, they see change and all. I, I take a slightly different view that uh, the, the common myth is that youth are apathetic to, to current issues, social issues. Uh, but as we see technology uh, prof profilating and we have now supercomputers at our palms, uh, information is just at the tap of a finger. So we find more young people being more politically engaged. Technology has enabled that. Uh, we, we can see recently, even in 2019, the, the youth propelled a constitutional amendment uh, we, we have to bear in mind constitutional amendment is not easy. It needs two thirds of 222 uh, MPs to agree. And we, we, we saw that in 2019, uh, both parties, we are talking about bipartisanship here, both parties agrees, uh, agreed to this constitutional amendment. And it was fueled by uh, the UNI-18 uh, UNI movement. So through engagement, policy advocacy, they managed to, to, to rally up uh, support, uh, bipartisan support for this bill. And uh, more recently, uh, we see uh, youth going, pro probably uh, taking a different route also. Uh, we have those who advocate for policy, but we have those uh, activists who, who go on the ground uh, protesting about issues uh, that they are not, um, that not, doesn't fit uh, their goals or their long-term view. So they protest against uh, police uh, mishandling of uh, cases, uh, those kind of things. So we see them being more politically aware and politically active. So the, we need to start dismissing this notion that uh, the young are politically uh, apathetic. Uh, on the other part of the question, um, I, I, I do find uh, the value of engaging with different stakeholders because uh, let's be honest uh, we are we are in a democracy and uh, democracy is supposed to be a system where it provides and enables everyone to have a say uh, and how things are run uh, so every act like saudara ddp said every act is political and every act connotes a message so we can't be a political anymore um, Every act like voicing out, voting, not voting, all implies something. And why we need to advocate? Because policy impacts us every day. So it's only fair that we have a right to say in how things are run. Uh, the pandemic has shown mismanagement of policies, mismanagement of uh, SOPs, uh, flip-flops here and there will ultimately um, impact our daily lives. Let's say we're a business, we want to open, but the SOPs are not clear. Or like one day SOP is one way, and then the next day the SOP is another way. So it impacts our bread and butter. Uh, we can't say that oh, it's a high level thing. We don't need to to masuk campur or whatever. But uh, at the end of the day, it affects our uh, how we make a living and how we put food on the table. So I think that that is important. Of course, in a democracy, uh, it'll be noisy. <laughs> it's not going to be uh, straightforward. It's not going to be clean cut it's going to be uh, a little bit chaotic. But that is the nature of democracy. And we know uh, from our upbringing, macops are very opinionated. Uh, it'll be a, uh, in fact, I think one of the biggest hurdles for this uh, move towards being a public advocacy uh, platform is to find a common ground and harmonize diverse views in certain issues uh, and coming up with a common stand. I say this because in every field, even in public policy formulation, there is no one right answer. If you ask economists, should we go to a free market, uh, no government intervention, or should we go towards more government intervention? That also people can't 
agree on. So we, we now we talk about public financing, uh, reforming public services, legal and law reforms, education, social protections, defense and security issues. So these are broad range of issues that we might need to do more public engagement or member engagement uh, as a series to re raise awareness of what are the pertinent points and educating members and public on what matters to them and to us. So change and advocacy uh, is an uh, incremental action. It's not going to be a one-off thing. Uh, let's say we talk about issue A one day, we need to talk about issue A multiple times before we see things change. And it might not be 100% change, it might be 50%, 70%, but that is uh, the give and take of democracy. Uh, in terms of technicality, how do we make this stand inclusive? How do we make sure that all members of MACOPS, uh, of MACOBA has a say? Uh, then that's a technical issue. How do we vote? What's the vo voting mechanism for a unified stand? What's the quorum? Uh, how do we make sure every uh, every political view uh, is rep represented uh, and uh, and uh, is shown and uh, give airtime when we discuss or deliberate on matters? Uh, as a start, I think when we discuss about what issues to prioritize, uh, we 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 should focus on a niche or narrow down on a focus area. Uh, in the near term, perhaps perhaps guiding the government on how to reopen schools safely. I mean, uh, what is the use of advocating if we can't advocate for a safe reopening of MTKK? So we've been in 48 weeks of lockdown for schools. So let's not just talk about the those who are taking exams, but schools are important for families to make a living in a way that last time the the the, the the children can go to school and then the, the parents can go out to work. But now you have children staying at schools. So with that, if we can somehow guide the government to reopen MCKK safely uh, as a residential school, make sure that the SOPs, the ventilation and all the systems necessary are in place, it can be a test case, a model for other schools to emulate. So I think that could be a very uh, valuable first step and would go miles ahead in pushing uh, Makoba as an advocacy uh, platform. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Brother Iskandar. Uh, in short, I think we've got to get uh, you know everybody's uh, voice heard. Uh, we've got to solicit them formally, informally, through various channels so that, you know, uh, and also our, our integrity as, um, as a neutral party, that can absorb all the viewpoints from all the uh, uh, stakeholders. I think that that will be a good starting point. If I may go uh, uh, to the last uh, question to Dr. Ame, um, you know, it's fine that we have all this nice, you know, advocacy, very well packaged, etc. Then uh, we formulate all these uh, policies for consideration of, uh, you know, of the powers that be, or even the opposition and the civil society organizations, for example, right? Uh, but how do you get them, um, you know, adopted? Or how do you get them um, even being considered? There is no nothing more frustrating and demotivating than to have a very good set of, you know, uh, advoc uh, you know, uh, policy uh, advocacies that um, will fall on to deaf ears. So can, could I get some views from, uh, from you on that? Yeah, thanks. Assalamualaikum. Terima kasih, Brother Adam. And um, uh, uh, thank you. And then I think uh, coming to this point, eh, I'd like to share something about what Raja Iskandar was uh, mentioning just now. Eh. We talk about stakeholder engagement. It is important to balance between the interest and power sebenarnya. Yeah? So, when you talk about nice policies and so on, so, sometimes uh, the question here is that um, that can be very academic. Usually, we have people who can plan very well. And sometimes when you come, uh, when you develop policies, you take into consideration of certain group of people of your interest. Itu yang I think what uh, uh, Raji Skanda was mentioning just now. Um, and kadang-kadang benda ni tidak uh, translate to the actual ex, uh, the execution. Uh, this is the issue. Sebenarnya, the issue is about doing, 
doing the right things, uh, doing things right. Okay. Now, apa yang diperkatakan dekat sini ialah um, the stakeholder engagement tu must be comprehensive. You have to take people, when they kata-kata social inclusiveness, there must be people, you know, from all walk of life to give their point of views. Uh, then, daripada situ, baru kita ada proper discourse of the analysis, yeah? And then from there, then only we can come out with a proper plan. Uh, then, daripada situ, barulah kita ada the implementation. Now, the issue here is that Now, when we look into our system dekat Malaysia ni, yeah, we have a very spoiled system. Dan kata bila we have a leader, then bila one leader is appointed, dia akan bawa dia punya followers and so on. It may not be the right set of people to execute things. So, I think one of the issue yang kita perlu utarakan dekat sini is that get the right people to do the right things. Uh, itu yang sebenarnya menjadi isu. So, when you want to implement this policy, you need to have the right people to do Uh, to execute the right things. And the other thing is, it is also synonym to apa yang kita perkatakan pada hari ini, membimbing atau dalam bahasa Inggeris kita panggil hand-holding. So this hand-holding is very important because the level of understanding throughout our society ini berbeza. Eh, kita ada masyarakat yang berbeza, uh, pahaman dan juga uh, dia punya cara didikan dan sebagainya. So we need to have a proper hand-holding. And the other thing is that bila kita tengok dalam dalam bila the society tends to our society uh, tend to judge the success of uh, policies ni over a short period of time. Even kalau kita perkatakan hari ni kalau kita bagi satu position kepada CEO untuk 2 3 tahun and we expect them to transform. Actually eh, uh, being a policy student a graduate from a policy school eh, actually when you want to execute a policy it takes between 12 to 15 years sebenarnya to see the success of that policy. So I think um, we have to be a little bit more patient when it comes to the implementation. That means there must be a proper uh, hand-holding sessions, there must be a proper consultations, there, uh, there must be a proper evaluations. And, uh, and of course, over the long period of time, environmental changes as well. So bila environmental changes ni, dia ada dynamic pula yang kita terpaksa ambil kira dekat sini. That means there must be some tweaking here and there. So saya tidak bersalahkan apa yang diutarakan oleh Rajin Skandar tadi eh, bila kita kata kadang-kadang society kita ni confused. Hari ini we have a, a, a one SOP, one policy, besok kita bertukar dan sebagainya. Eh. Let alone eh, um, orang yang pergi sekolah berpendidikan tinggi pun tak faham ini kan pula orang yang yang tidak ada dalam sistem begini. Eh. So I think we have to understand the diversity in our society and the importance of those who are better educated to handhold those who are need to, uh, those who need to be handholded. Ha, itu jawapan saya pada buat masa ini. Masya Allah. Okay, thank you very much. Sekejap lagi, sekejap lagi. Just before yeah. I forget. I think um, uh, uh, we have worked together, Brother Adam. I think one of your expertise is actually doing the re-engineering. Ha, itu yang diperkatakan oleh uh, kita punya Vice President tadi. Eh. Uh, hmm. With regards to the SOP and policies, uh, they are there. Sometimes we need to re-engineer, uh, re-engineer them, do the proper mm. business process re-engineering to shorten the period of time in the yeah. planning so that we can have a longer time for the execution and evaluation. Okay. okay great. Great. Very good. Um, so as we know, uh, this is all about change management. Lah. And uh, ni, uh, Dr. Dr. Zul punya... Uh, Zul Zin punya favorite topic. Lah. You know, you need to... Uh, when we talk about change management, you're talking about the hard side and you talk about the soft side. Eh? The, hard side the hard side are the, the structure, systems, policies, procedures. Yeah? And the soft side will be the uh, mental attitude, the buy-in, you know, um, taking care of, taking care of uh, or be cognizant of the uh, vested interest and so on. So I, I see a lot of questions uh, flowing in already, but uh, I do not have the macro picture of what what um, you know are the major questions or issues that is, that are uh, you know th- that are in the minds of many macops i will pass over to uh, brother boon um, i'm sure you have some consolidated questions that we would like to be asked then uh, we'll see whether we can channel it to any anybody here in the in the five that we have uh, interviewed so far thank you brother boon silakan all right uh Thank you, Brother Adam, moderator. Okay, basically the comments, uh, they're not only questions, they are more like comments, but we take the comments. Mm. Uh, I'll show from time to time. 
we we take note uh, but later on we'll go back and and probably we'll take uh more you know we put on paper or not or whatever their comment is we try to like like jim said we will go back uh but uh, today because the 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 and the comment a bit diverse but in a sense uh if uh like you know okay there are a couple i I nak cakap terlampau banyak sangat nama, I have to quote from the pedawal sudah agak susah. So roughly I can say that there is a consensus. Among my cop, I tak nampak ada suang pun yang kata uh, we should not be doing this. We should be like macam you said, uh, we should be political but non-partisan. In fact, you cakap we supposed to be doing it yesterday instead of we're discussing it today. <laughs> so a bit too late but we still have to do it. That, that is one. Um, I think I think Sharul Mizar dah cakap pasal structure. No? How we should uh, open it up uh, so at least we can get all the inputs, uh, macam uh, Dr. Amin cakap, how we can be more um, inclusive. No? We try to get all, all stakeholders on board, you know, uh, probably put uh, in the different subcommittees. Because cakap agak senang, where, where to put your effort and time and energy in this kind of thing, non-paying job. Huh? <laughs> it's a bit, uh, you know, uh, it is different challenge. You know? for, for, for us to complain, to put it to agak senang. But put your works and consistently doing that, uh, only then you can have some kind of traction, which is my third point. Uh, basically, you need, macam orang cakap pasal, we need to have some kind of series. I think Iskandar or some of the comments there uh, for you to get traction, for people, for you to be heard. You tak boleh cakap, Pope, jadi 2 million people are watching. No. <laughs> you you can get some, we got some celebrities. In fact, uh, Raja Mat Iskandar pun celebrities. He's always on show, on, on TV and whatnot. Uh, we can uh, get him to, to pull some crowd. And inshallah, Nabil pun akan jadi celebrity soon, inshallah. And James going to be tanding as independent, and Dr. Ame is that you know he's the top guy in public policy. We, we can uh, that that is one. Of course, the the platform uh, impact. Uh, so it continues engagement. This is about public policy. So I know this is what uh, you know. And of course, there is also comment. They said, "How we ensure that this thing won't be hijacked by any political party?" You know, <laughs> we are quite okay on the right track. We don't have to. I you know people try to hijack. You know how we can be istiqoma on the the the, the central. Of, you know, uh, no one going to bribe uh, tap. Okay? You know, it's just listening. Uh, listening. Uh. <laughs> and and you know and yeah and, and ada satu banyak guy yang komen kata you know like ni Kyril jam and uh, berang tahi uh, tolong nelayan stuff of course macam tuan president dah cakap uh, makops have been doing it uh, all kind of voluntary work in fact tomorrow i can interview imarat a uh, doctor eh, yang uh, muslim medical doctors yang yang uh, tolong covid-19 yang buat sekolah di, di Sabah what not and uh, uh, the the point is uh, apa yang tap cuba nak bawa apa yang Zulzin apa yang Makoba cuba bawa ni try to pull all your works and you do it under Makoba only then we can get some traction only then we can our voice is heard you know. only then you know but uh, how we want to be uh, independent and how we want to be continuously independent <laughs> that's something we need together to solve lah we must be uh, I, I pass it over to you because I cannot really uh, go one by one context the the, the comments are very good. But uh, that's basically the, the summary of everything. I'll pass it back to you, uh, Adam. Over to you. I, I I'll uh, I'll take the the, uh, the first comment that uh, that um, I concern that I think they're very serious. Um, how do we ensure that when pushing for this national advocacy agenda, uh, in the quest of trying to be neutral, uh, representing you know the conscience of the society. Akhir-akhirnya nanti we are representing the interests of one small group, you know. Uh, so how do we ensure that that thing is being, uh, you know, how do um, how do we safeguard uh, this uh, noble intention of ours from, uh, you know, from that happening to it? So maybe I I think this is best uh, being addressed by uh, Datuk Zul. DP, are you there? Bun, boleh masuk dia? Boleh. Ah, okay. Ah, boleh. Uh, DP, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, DP, you want to say okay, something? You. <coughs> How you, you want to stay to come out? Thank you very much for, for this. Uh, as uh, Adam has said, uh, uh, basically we are facing the need to change. Yeah. And being in the national advocacy approach, okay, we have to be the voice for the changes to occur. Yeah, we have to bear in mind that we are not in the position to make those changes ourselves. 
but we have to be the voice that makes it possible for those changes to ha to happen. Yeah, uh, because we are we are basically still outside. We are, we are not inside, but we have the ears and we have the eyes uh, focus on us by those people who are inside. So we need to be the voice to help them to make this kind of change. Then on the idea of change itself, uh, I, I have taken some notes with regards to some of the comments put in earlier on. But in <clears throat> voicing our concerns, vo voicing our ideas, voicing our expectations for this change to happen, uh, in terms of us now, we have got to decide on what to choose, what are the areas we want to focus on, and how are we going to go about doing it. So we have to form that structure within ourselves itself. Yeah. But having said that, we cannot have a structure that can have a finger in every pie. Yeah. So we, we, we have to be selective. My experience in, in managing change, uh, I have to go for quick wins. For change to happen, you need to have quick wins. So, for, for example, maybe helping that Sabarang Takeh, Penyakata Tu, helping the Nalayan, maybe those are some of those quick wins. And what uh, uh, Chris Rajiv Kanda just now was saying, helping MCKK for the safe opening of the MCK could be some of those early quick wins, uh, making our voices heard to make sure that things are done uh, in the right way. Yeah? Whether it is done or not, it's still the implementer of your opinion concern. But at the same time, we also need to to be involved in those small strategic areas of concerns where this change needs to happen. For example, uh, uh, <clears throat> if, if you want to deal with corruption, uh, you've got to deal with making the processes simpler yeah. so that people don't find an excuse to, 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 to cut the queue and, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So at the strategic level, things must also happen. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the... Uh, we have raised it just now to say that uh, we have seen the propensity to fail as far as the national delivery system is concerned. Then we have to reset the whole national delivery system. Now. Yeah. Uh, how tenders are being given now? Uh, we, have, we have got to reset all those kind of things. What, what is the involvement of the of the people in political office who are actually in their executive functions? What are the what are the, the role and the the the, uh, <coughs> the responsibilities of those people on the line? Said, which means to say that the civil service. So we need also to relook at that. So we have to give, we have got to plan and organize ourselves to try to give voices at both levels, at the strategic level as well as at the operational individual level. We got to go for those quick wins. Yes, we got to go for those quick wins. At the same time, we got to go also to make some impact at the strategic level. Thank you. Okay, very good. Um, I'm I'm sure. One or two others would like to comment. Maybe uh, Brother Nabil ke, yep. Iskandar right. ke. I actually nak tambah daripada apa yang uh, DP mentioned just now. Right, that's number one as well as some comments that I see. Eh. I saw one question posted for me just now. Uh, I think the, the question was asking area mana nak focus, where should we focus on, right? And then it's also correlates to um, some of your comments that said, what did you do, right? Don't, don't think about all the consequences. I mean, consequences, yes, we have to think at a certain degree, right? But the most important message, I think, is what did you do, right? And also, I would like to touch base on uh, comments made by DP just now, earlier in this session, which is honesty. And finally, I want to touch on the degree of focus, okay? strategic level, operational level, and whatnot, right? So mm -hmm. the way that I see this is number one, right? Um, yes, we have to do something, right? And when we talk about levels, yes, Makoba as a whole, we may have um, something that we want to focus. Like, for example, earlier we, we gave in was example of uh, corruption, right? Or education, right? Itu kerangka yang besar, the bigger framework. But within Makoba itself, we have so many different parties. Kan, I cakap pasal we have different uh, experts kat dalam industri. Be it in, uh, I would, I'm in oil and gas industry, be it in oil and gas, uh, be it in professional finance, um, infrastructure, right? And even seni, kan? Art, something yang kita jarang tengok, kan? So, um, kita boleh ada subgroups ni, right? Yang di bawah payung or underneath of Makoba punya umbrella, right? Yes, Makoba ada dia punya agenda yang besar, tapi kita nak guna Makoba ni sebagai satu platform. Right, 
So that daripada kita punya population ni kita boleh gambling tenaga ni bersama-sama right untuk capai apa yang kita boleh buat right. So coming back to area mana nak fokus tu right. One makoba and an example yang I nak bagi kan is uh, one of the things that I work with uh, uh, local artist which is uh, Kimal Magasatwa right. This is an example because I think one of the fundamental thing that we want to to pursue right is educating the public as well right membimbing membimbing apa apa membimbing tu right part of it is kita nak mengajar mem- memberi some, some some level of education to the public and i think this is the area that we should focus on right and cara paling mudah kan adalah melalui medium yang orang guna pakai setiap hari right kita dengar radio, kita dengar uh, bila sedih kadang-kadang kita dengar radio right? when we down, we, we listen to radio subconsciously our mind is working right? so that's the area yang for me oh I can use radio, I can use seni uh, untuk uh, sampaikan message right? so what I'm trying to say yes, makoba ada tiga agenda ada benda yang kita boleh pursue tapi underneath that daripada population kita yang ramai ni kan kita boleh form a subgroup that uh, can leverage on what makoba has so from there kita boleh come as a collective uh, makoba members can bagi tahu ini boleh connect kita to to people right in order to achieve our target or to achieve our objective so Alright. so that's my my opinion uh, uh, thanks nabil uh, okay uh, i just like to open this uh, session to people outside there Uh, that's my number 0193361002 if you want to come on board eh? and uh, we just limit to 2% or 1% and one in any one time where's my number just now uh, okay this is my number uh, you can uh, text me uh, I think I'll give to somebody text me just now Sharul Miza I think we'll just uh, give it to you want to join uh, yeah uh, Adam you, you go ahead Yeah, um, you know, I was I, I'm reading some of the comments, you know, some brilliant ideas. For example, um, you know, um, some of the Macops um, suggested that kita tak payahlah centralize everything, which was not the intention pun. Kita bukan nak centralize everything pun. Memang kita nak empower. In fact, we are going to empower the the, the, manner, uh, the manner of empowering yang kita kena fikirkan. For example, should it be by region? Should it be by topic? Should we? Should it be by you know or whatever other divisions lah? Maknanya, uh, we we have to think in terms of uh, creating the various what I call interest groups. If you are an education, you are in the education interest group. Um, you know, okay, you, you can join there. You will find uh, educators. You can find uh, public uh, advocates uh, in education. Uh, private schools punya practitioner semua dalam dalam education punya you know interest group you know and then you will have another uh, interest group in med- uh, in in uh, health another interest group in uh, economy in business etc so i i, I pass to to uh, maybe to boon lah can can, can boon uh, just respond what do you think this is uh, already the how to lah uh, how to operationalize the the engagement first with the macops and then later on with the public Uh, yeah, it's very true. Okay, one thing first is uh, uh, we start, of course, with ourselves, uh, the, the low-hanging fruits. Uh. Mm-hmm. And uh, no, so, Ahmad Ibrahim, kalau nak join, the one of the people, uh, I've already sent the, the stream, uh, stream yet link so they can be on board. Eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, I want to be inclusive, you know. Uh, of course, we start off dengan budak makops. Please come over, whoever want mm-hmm. to, to, apa tu? Uh, to, to join, to input, especially yang nak, you know, ada, ada bagi masa sikit lah because if the comments be easy you know and of hmm. course our uh, our panelists later on it will be for non non macops and this one uh, so far we uh, uh, we can use whatever platform that we have uh, uh, makoba punya you know it's either youtube a page or what not and and we we can get i think uh, hmm. raji ahmad can get a few good panels you know I think hmm. the makam itself, our history, our name. Uh, hmm. Sorry to say lah, uh, uh, Raja Meskan Amin, we are, at least, we got some from the government, we got all over people, you know? we quite fair in certain sense. Uh, some hmm. some situation or think tank, they're quite leaning to the government or leaning towards the opposition. 
the couple of NGO even macam if I can name macam G25 in Oxford Bridge and they, they are actually leans towards certain side <laughs> and and mm. the markups actually we have we got pass you know we got AMNO we got PKR we got everyone we, we, so I think this is the best and of course later on I think we'll invite macam Brad Adam I think we can uh, invite the Ministry of Education uh is either from you know the Gideon or whatever or, or Mazdi <laughs> Anyone we can discuss. Even yeah. even I think Adam was uh, still on the same board with uh, Prof. Eh? Tansri Zul, my wife and boss. Uh, he's very much into SDG you know? yeah. <laughs> and, and yeah. sejahtera. This is yeah. which is uh, to me uh, is fantastic. No, if uh, anyone, I think this is why we are doing all this thing mm. because we want you to to contact uh, Makoba. Mm. Uh, let me give me your names. Uh, then we see how we can go from here. Lah. In uh, fact, uh, you know. To, to respond very quickly about, uh, you know, uh, people hijacking this agenda, mm -hmm. I think I'm not afraid of that, lah, if you ask me. I didn't want to, you know, give my opinion very early on. By nature, Budak Collect, if you, if they sense that you are trying to, you know, um, marginalize others or you want to have your own agenda, you will get whacked left, right and center, lah, you know. <laughs> so, I think, you know, the, those who are long in uh, with, uh, you know, dealing with Makoba would know that. Lah. So it's difficult for any vested interest to to stay long in uh, Makoba without being identified. And then uh, without being unwrangled. Lah. So I think uh, that by itself is a safety mechanism. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, anybody else uh, um, would like to make any comments, uh, tambahan daripada yang telah diberikan tadi? Sebab-sebab saja. Uh, Ted, you are most welcome to also say a few words, eh, Ted? Yeah, anyone want to speak? This is free for all. I let Rajay Skanda say, I'm sure. I can see he's trying to jump into this conversation. <laughs> Chris. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, I welcome any commenters out there yang nak join tu lah. I see Boon ada put nombo for anyone to contact and join the podcast. I encourage more people. I think more than speaking today is also about listening lah, uh, about whatever the panelists have said, uh, what do my cops think about it? Uh, like, are we ready to move from a social to a more uh, advocacy driven kind of movement? Uh, so those are questions. I think this is the first question that everyone needs to answer juga lah. Like, uh, we, we, when we talk about decision making, how do we make sure that this conversation goes beyond Klang Valley and then goes like to all uh, Peluso, to the entire uh, uh, entire country, like where Macops live, uh, people talk about it and then people give their views. So this could be the, the, the test case on how we incorporate different views on how Makoba stands on a few things. Do we need to have an EGM? Ke? Do we need to have a uh, different kind of voting mechanism? Uh, so on and so forth. Um, to echo one of the view study, uh, I, I, I support the uh, view of having multiple engagement series, uh, having people to, to come on board, uh, Makops, on Makops, to discuss issues. Uh, as we all know, uh, public policy is not like black and white. It's grey most of the time. Uh, it, it's a, a nature of uh, balancing trade-offs. Uh, so it's about knowing uh, what decision incurs what trade-off and if we are comfortable to live with that kind of trade-off. Uh, so far, that's my comments. Okay. No, oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, silakan. Anybody? Anybody else? Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, is that you, James? Okay. Yes, yes, it's me. Okay, I, I, I like, I read uh, some of the comments and uh, I agree with most of the comments. Memang, we as Makoba, we should be uh, right now thinking of how we want to organize this moving forward. Uh, probably what we can do is we will go back and look at all the comments of this money and then uh, we probably will organize a new, uh, tak tahu lah, maybe subcommittees where later on uh, we will discuss in JPM first, of course. Uh, maybe we can invite all of you who are very uh, passionate about certain issues to come on board and help out. 
because kalau setakat nak bagi komen tapi tak tolong macam pun cakap tadi memang tak jadi apa juga uh, and it's not up to us as in the mekoba uh, pengurusan to do everything because we also have our own uh, uh, interest and maybe our own uh, uh, jobs and daily lives to take care of juga at the same time so it would be better kalau if we can get as many people on board later on once we have uh, identified how we want to go ahead with this uh, to help out as as every little bit uh, helps pasal this is not a small punya matter lah this is talking about kita nak membimbing negara kita nak keluar membimbing negara so we have to give a helping hand as much as possible uh, okay thank you very much Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, probably later on kita we're going to have Ahmad Ibrahim dia dah contact I. He's very active from uh, the, I think, uh, DP punya batchmate. <laughs> Best of 66. So, we wait for him. Uh, he will come on board later on. Uh, but yeah, just go on first while we we wait for him to come on board. Uh, yes? Okay. Uh, anybody else would like to comment? Boleh ke? Uh, um... Yeah. Okay, doctor. Okay, one of the things that I like to uh, share right. here is, okay. um, bila kita kata uh, tadi we talk about corruption as one of the key issues. Uh, many people understand lah, uh, corruption of power, corruption of money. Tapi to me, uh, the most important thing is actually yang orang selalu tak uh, tak ta, ta aware is actually corruption of knowledge sebenarnya. So because knowledge is powerful. So, uh, the, the, I think the positions of Makoba is interesting because apa yang dikatakan oleh panelis-panelis lain tadi, eh, there are people from different uh, background dan sebagainya, different political beliefs dan sebagainya. I think this diversity is very interesting because it gives us a different uh, viewpoints yang boleh di, kita discuss later eh, uh, untuk kita uh, perbahaskan lagi dan kita ambil yang terbaik. Uh, yang I'm also not worried about people hijacking the ideas sebab sebenarnya leaders ni is to think what is the best thing to do or the right things to do. Uh, so tak apa, as long as the idea is great and somebody can champion it, it's great, doesn't matter. Because we are not politicians here, kita sebenarnya non-partisans. Yeah? So in that perspective, it's very important. The other thing is that, now when we look at... Um, kita punya establishment eh, daripada dulu yang orang kata, selalu katakan Eton of the East katakan eh. now, now this whole idea of uh, British colonization ni sangat penting sebenarnya dalam penerapan uh, kehidupan kita because it gives us this uh, connotation about the theory of development so theory of development ni uh, bersangkut paut dengan modernization eh. bila modernization ni kadang-kadang bila kita nak buat satu polisi itu, kita terikut-ikut dengan apa yang kita belajar ataupun experience kita daripada negara-negara kapitalis ni ataupun imperialis ni. So I think it is important to have people from different backgrounds to come in and give their viewpoints so that we are not, uh, seperti yang Boon kata tadi, eh, um, uh, skewed to one side of punya thought process lah. So we have people from different backgrounds to give different ideas and from there on it will enrich our thought process thank you thank you uh, you know if you ask me um, these are the kind of things that really excite me i personally at my, my, my level you know uh, maybe maybe overdose quote uh, banyak sangat concert banyak sangat dinners <laughs> but you know um you know we we have been uh, groomed from from early on uh, to be leaders Uh, just because we are not given positions that shouldn't stop us from being leaders you know that and the best way to lead is to make sure that the best ideas prevail and uh, in a very uh, you know technology techno, uh, technology enabled uh, society uh, the best ideas has the potential of uh, being uh, you know being um, propagated and also adopted and, and i think Uh, we've got to just put on uh, our thinking hat uh, together and then you know and see how we can uh, make this a reality so i have not heard uh, fr- uh ini from dah lama dah ini uh, dr zul you want to say uh, something suzin want to say something else <coughs> well uh 
I'm excited by, by the, all the level of interest. But at the same time, I have to, to uh, remind myself to say that at the end of the day, we each, each of us have only got a pair of hands and a pair of mm. eyes and one mouth and one nose and yes. Yeah? And we may be in the group of people. But then we need, we need, what I'm trying to say is that uh, we've got to be realistic in the sense that of what we can do and what we cannot do. Uh, being able to advocate something, basically we are the voice. We are the voice of reason, we are the voice of conscience, we are the voice of, of, of uh, uh, propagating what is the best. Yeah? And uh, we should remind ourselves to say that being the voice, we cannot be the one to do it. We cannot get involved in actually doing it. Yeah? So I, I like that idea of the interest groups just now, when in, in the whole effort of trying to structure within Mokoma on how we are to handle this. Interest group is one thing, yeah, it is one of those areas that we can look at. Uh, the, the party levels and the strategic level and then the operational level is another thing. So my mind is right now thinking in terms of how do we want to go about uh, uh, organizing all this. but. Acute, uh, but having to all the time remind myself to say that look, we are we are the voice. We are only the voice. Yeah. Voice can be strong in terms of actually propagating what is the, what is the right thing, but we cannot get involved right down at the operational level because we don't have the means, we don't have the capacity to do to do that. So I think uh, uh, zone. Yeah. Uh, if I can take it from there, the zone. Um, you know. I, um, that is a, a nice place to to have a landing. Thank you very much for for the feedback from everybody and uh, taking a clue from what has been said by our DP. Uh, you know, finally, we need to uh, to measure what we can, what we cannot do, uh, or what is within our capacity, what is not, uh, and then we have to also prioritize and uh, you know uh, you know tailor make the the kind of uh, involvement that we want to be uh, involved in uh, or we want to be engaged in uh, and if i can summarize um, the feedback from today um, there is no none that is uh, you know equivoc uh, unequivocally uh, against the idea of us uh, pursuing national advocacy uh, it is more the details of the how uh, or the what, or the why, and the when. Sorry, the when and the how. That is more important than you know the why. I think the why has already been uh, uh, been addressed. Uh, and I would like to thank uh, everybody for the involvement. We have heard from the young and the old, um, and we also have uh, got a lot of uh, feedback online, uh, which will be treasured uh, by the team here. Uh, and we will uh, take all these comments and, uh, you know, I'm sure we will uh, then, uh, you know, structure something uh, for the perusal of uh, Makoba and Makobas in the future. I, I pass back, uh, you know, I think my role uh, is ends here. I'll pass back to uh, Boon and uh, the, the organizers. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, thanks, uh, Brother Adam. Brother Pagil. Uh, and Mot Moti, eh? <laughs> man of the year. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, okay, before we go uh, to the last uh, uh, concluding or closing session uh, by President Tab, I'll just give uh, probably one of you one minute if you just want to give your parting words before we end. And probably start from Ami, you don't want to say anything? Hmm. You just trust me. One minute, yeah? <laughs> don't, don't be too long. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Just one minute, okay. Okay, um, I think um, the ideas that kita try together uh, today is very interesting. I think the issue here yang diperkatakan oleh some of the comments given, eh, I also, also agree eh, sebenarnya it's time for us to be consolidating things. We should not be separating but we should consolidate good ideas together. Eh? I think I, will wel I, I welcome the ideas of working together and hopefully we get the best idea together. Right, please do. Right, thank you. Uh, then to the youngest uh, panelist, uh, Nabil. All right. Um, so for me, I have some some interest um, to, to do, right? And to maybe I can deliver this to, to the whole Markov who are interested in this course, which is um, we try to to advocate on Sunni 
sebagai medium untuk kita membangunkan negara, kemungkinan negara bangsa. Right, seni ni tak kisahlah lagu ke, drama ke, kan short film ke. Kita nak gunakan seni sebagai satu medium untuk mendidik negara bangsa. Jadi, uh, mana-mana makops yang mungkin berminat dengan inisiatif yang kita cuba buat ni, uh, kita boleh come together. Um, I do this um, as part of uh, my, my part time, part time, right, part time things. So, um, yeah, the idea is really we want to to do something. We want to to uh, to make a betterment, uh, you know, contribute to the betterment of this this country. And and feel free to to contact me or whoever in this in this so that we can can collaborate and work together. Yeah, that's all. All right. Uh, terima kasih, saudara Nabil. Uh, Raja Mat. Ni celebrity yang sebab pro TV. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I think now is uh, talking about the next steps. So, the immediate next steps uh, for for Macops is to prioritize uh, what would be the focus area of advocacy. Uh, what would be the main one that I think for the national Macops to do, and for the interest groups, uh, we can democratize that. Uh, those who uh, has a has a passion to drive certain things, let's say economic interest group or legal interest group, then let them come to the, to Makoba and suggest rather than Makoba being the one pushing everything, then uh, we will be like neither here nor there. So I think uh, that's the most, the utmost important thing, uh, prioritize and hopefully uh, it will turn out for the best. Thank you, Raja Ahmad, Skanda. Uh, yes, uh, VP James. Before your battery uh, mati, eh? 50%, 20%. <laughs> ada lagi, ada lagi, boleh lagi. Alhamdulillah ada lagi, eh? that, ah, lovely. Alhamdulillah that uh, we have a lot of people uh, actually taking part, uh, participating in this uh, session today. What we will be doing next is uh, we'll be discussing how to bring this forward in a more structured way. And uh, we hope that everyone who is passionate and interested in their particular fields ni can come forward. We will contact those that we have already seen there. And uh, maybe we will send out through all our channels, kan? Uh, WhatsApp, Bachelorette Group, uh, Telegram, apa semua. We'll be looking for you all lah. Uh, you all are very passionate, so now you have to do something lah. Tak boleh lah nak suruh semua kita buat kan. Everybody must chip in. Everybody must help. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, VP James, uh, Adam aku kasih chan lah kan kau. Dia tak cakap as a panelist. So what's your thought on this? Adam, one minute. It's okay lah, it's okay. Uh, but okay. I, you know, if I can summarize it, I would say, you know, uh, kalau kita boleh buat macam-macam benda, benda yang ni yang paling penting, you know, um, the, the, uh, the crystallization of the best ideas, you know, uh, to be, um, you know, propagated or, or to be uh, propounded by uh, Merkoba and Merkobs, I think, I think, um, you know, we have been prioritizing wrongly lah kalau kita tak buat benda ni. That's all. That's my parting words lah. Alright, uh, thank you, Puan Moderator. Uh, Zuzin, I, I can see you. I mean, uh, Mike Ibrahim, your your friend tak boleh is at the parallel meeting. Uh, okay. Cuma ada satu komen daripada dia tak cakap nama dekat slido ni. Dia kata, is Makoba political? He has been rather quiet in spite of the others coming forward. <laughs> so the position, you should be done years ago when doing thing macam Adam cakap, okay. but we are not doing it. Uh, yeah, probably uh, your parting shot, yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you very much, everybody, for, for joining us today. What, what I will say is that we have thrown the first few pebbles into the lake of change as far as uh, contributing towards things happening in our country. So let's get together and let's throw more pebbles into the lake so that ultimately we can make the waves and the wave of change. We can contribute towards change to happen. Thank you. Okay, that's the deputy president throwing uh, pebbles into the lake. Uh, so we're waiting for the president to throw the big rocks into the into the sea. <laughs> yeah, over to you, president, to conclude the, this whole meeting today. Firstly, uh, thank you everybody um, for a very very good session. Um, I, I really appreciate all the comments that's coming through. Um, we will definitely go through all of them, uh, and we will try to put them together. And uh, obviously, uh, as mentioned by 
BP James, the, he's taken on this as he, he volunteered to, to be the, the committee member in charge. I'm sure he will set up a, a subcommittee underneath this. So what we will do is definitely get um, uh, the people that are uh, champions of the various different factions. So I'm telling you, the comment, maybe we should go to the socials, we could go to the arts, and go to the, um, things like, for instance, the, the corruption issues. Yeah, I, I personally feel that uh, that is also very important. I think that a lot of things has happened because the segregation of duties within Malaysia has has, has been eroded to a certain extent between um, the, 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 the policy makers, the administrators, the legislators, and the judiciary, for instance. You know, so maybe we need to ensure that that is uh, that come at Bali. You know, we get get, get that that thing back. Uh, on stream, as, as we had maybe in the sixties and seventies, that is somehow somehow eroded. So we, we need to figure out uh, a lot of things, and there are a lot of mark cops out there who are experts in this. Um, so inshallah, we, we can. Um, firstly, we would like you to to volunteer. Um, volunteer. Okay, you, you think you you like to do this, and then we'll we'll get uh, you uh, with a, a group of people with, with similar um, uh, expertise to start doing that. Um, we started all this um, because we felt that um, not only that Makoba needs to have a change in the way things are, but change for change's sake or changing is not is not there. Yeah, change, um, but the change starts in the man in the mirror. All of us, we need to change. Um, so we've been having, you know, the kata tadi semua just dinners and playing golf and things like that. So maybe Makoba needs to change the way that we do things as well. So inshallah, with what we happened today we can move um, that social fabric that we have into this national advocacy that we have and, and do something that will make a change to the country that we love, make the country that we live in as well. The constituency uh, um, allows us to do this. Um, if you actually go through Makoba when it was set up in 1924, for instance, you look at the, the, the articles of association at that time, was actually looking at the country as well. Um, it was a, right on the top portion. So Makoba was set up uh, not only to look at Malay College and Makops, but also to look at the country. That was in 1924. So um, it's very important for us to uh, relive um, and smangat yang kita ada pada masa tu. Lah, yeah? And I, I agree that uh, whatever we do in, the, in this uh, advocacy, way, we must have the key guiding principles of what we do. Yeah? Um, so that will be formalized and that will be uh, distributed to um, all my cops to see. Um, somebody asked just now, uh, Kuis asked whether we should be um, discussing this at the AGM, EGM and stuff like that. I'm sure we will. Um, the AGM is coming up. Uh, our AGM will be coming up within the next few months. Is that right? Hopefully within a month or so, we'll, we'll be calling for AGM now that the uh, SOPs are, may allow us to do though. So, so we will call for an AGM and we will definitely discuss this. Um, and this is the prelude um, to that EGM portion so that we can have all this un understanding of what, what we want to do and things like that. So, um, uh, there are many, many issues uh, we, we've talked about and some of these issues that we, we need to look at um, uh, will be concentrated by the number of people who are will be volunteering. Yeah? So, you feel that um, this is important and you want to set up a, a, <clears throat> a subsection to be able to do that be so. We'll, we'll come down to us. Um, BP James will organize that and we will bring it up to JP Anchor. If it needs to be or not, we will just uh, allow you to do that. And the, the idea is that there are many, many MACOPs actually doing this already in their own um, work and stuff like that. Our uh, haunty or treasurer, Dr. Rao, is actually doing a lot of work and he knows a lot of MACOPs who are actually out there helping government in, in this thing. But, but what we're trying to say is that Banyak Kan Tu will be in their own, they're, they're representing their, their organisation, they might not be independent enough. But under Makoba, flag, you meet, you are you are able to be independent. So that's what we're trying to say. And you are able to bring in more people right from the whole spectrum of Makops, right from this, right from the 20-year-olds, right up to 70, 80, 90 year olds who are out there with all the various expertise that we have. Those in government, those in corporate, and those are in social uh, classes uh, or organizations. Yeah? Um, we, we talked about um, 
what should we be do doing? Is it the corruption or the bread and butter sort of uh, issues? And um, I think uh, memang ujung-ujungnya sekarang ni, we might probably have to start with the basic bread and butter issues first because um, a lot of people out there are suffering. Eh? But uh, as you know, like the master hierarchy, as we go along the self-actualization portion, eh? that also is as, as important as well. So with the various different um, groups that we have, we may be able to do a lot of it separately. Um, Makok as a JPM will, will try to facilitate this as we go along. You know? I, I like the example that Kuis mentioned just now. Maybe we should start off with um, school reopening, for instance. And this is another kind of thing that we've got a lot of um, already in MO, MOE yeah? um, and things like that. And also, if you, if you talked about the SOPs that Kuis mentioned just now, um, changing day by day, uh, I think that there's a lot of things that have been happening right now. And the minister in charge so happens to be my batchmate. Dato uh, Sri Shamudin Hussain on is now the Minister of Defence. Minister of Defence and he's in charge of SOP. So maybe with that, we can channel all this uh, info, we channel all the suggestions and channel it. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. So um, that, that, uh, that uh, is something that we, we can do um, in, in the sense... Uh, in terms of stakeholder management, um, again, we, we've got to get everybody involved and stuff like that. I don't, I don't think you need to worry about being hijacked at the end of the day, you know, because kita punya nawai tu tu nak make it better. Kalau ada orang nak hijack, nak take it over, lagi bagus. You know, then we we can, we, we started it, we started advocating it. Somebody thinks it's important enough to take it on for themselves, to be able to bring it to rotation. Lagi bagus. So we will we be there to help all on this. But I agree with uh, the, the thing that transformation is a long term, and th changing policies will take a long term time to do it. Um, in a, a in a, a, a speech by Tuku Zafrul, our also a Makop uh, Minister of Finance, they said they have lots of uh, ideas. They have got a lot of plans in, in for, and a lot of them the implementation portion. Um, it's actually done by Makops as well. Uh, um, not only his back, but a lot of Makops around him. Um, so, a lot of these things are actually happening. Tapi dia kata, tu lah, nak buat plan senang. Tapi bila nak buat implementation tu, tu yang the yang problem dia. So, here we are, try, let's see how we can get that those things implemented as we go along as well. Yeah. Um, so, uh, as, so we, let's, let's leverage um on, 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 on all the expertise that we have within, within my corps let's um put up your hand you have already have put up your comments um but we'd like you to come come in and help us um make this uh, a reality uh inshallah we will make a, a difference um to, to malaysia to make to to all malaysians as well inshallah um dengan tu, uh, i would like to end with uh Kapanto. Kuala Kangsa, tempat pertemuan. Nasi kawah permulaan segalanya. MCKK menintik semangat perjuangan, membela bangsa, agama dan negara. Dari prep school, kemudian ke big school. Ada yang berakhir, berakhir di pavilion juga. Ditemai dibaja nilai-nilai yang cool. Melahirkan pemimpin, pemimpin ber, berwija, ber, berjiwa mulia. Sorry, memang Melayu pun teruk kan? Merah, kuning, putih dan hitam. Warna keramat, tersemat di jiwa. Tali persedaraan sama digenggam. Hidup berpandu nilai-nilai yang sama. Budak kolek, dulu dan sekarang. Bersatu hati, jiwa penuh warna. Sedia dicabar, tak mudah digoyang. Kedaulatan negara, tanggungjawab kita. Bungwak, bangunan perjuangan. Tanda perlawanan sudah bermula. Bergerak bersama menuju kejayaan. Biar semua bangga jadi rakyat Malaysia. So, Makops, jom kita berkhidmat. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Kita tak tahu Tuan Presiden kita pandai berpantun. Ya? Kalau Adam tahu tadi dia pandai pantun, dia bawa dia pergi rumah dia. Bila ada orang datang rumah tadi, meminang anak daya dia. <laughs> Jadi kita boleh balas pantun dengan tap. Uh, baiklah, uh, 
before I think we wrap up, one is thank you for all the panelists, uh, President Tab and Adam, you know. Uh, and of course, yang seorang yang tak ada dekat sini, I have to say thanks. Uh, the producer, basically uh, Onon or Zainul Hashim, which is not here uh, with us now, but it's outside there, very active. Uh, thank you. And of course, uh, those who are watching online, uh, you said, uh, you know, uh, Facebook or YouTube, uh, thank you very much uh, for, for all your uh, comments and input. And, and probably for those who are watching after uh, our live session, uh, thank you very much. Uh, contact them. They are like uh, Tap said, they are waiting. <laughs> They're waiting for your call. They're waiting for you to to give your time and services to them. You know, not not just uh, you know. We we need we need that effort and time. Uh, yeah, and like uh, last kali, uh, macam Tap got cakap tadi. You know, if you want to change the nation, uh, and there is a Rumi, the 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 the, the Sufi. Uh, you know, yesterday I was uh, I was clever. I tried to change the world. Uh. But today, uh, and I'm wise, I change myself. That's what uh, TAP says. Uh, basically, we can only change ourselves. No? But we can inspire others to change as well. This is what we are doing. And it, you know, what, uh, we try to inspire. We try to bring people together on the same platform for, for us to have this intellectual discourse. Doesn't matter from where they are. We put them in and, and together we grow. With that, uh, thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. <laughs>